the heading of the end for this Silk Cup Challenge Cup fourth round clash between Leeds and Bradford Northern. The road to Wembley then begins here. Leeds, of course, made it to the Twin Towers last year, going out to Wigan in that uh, Challenge Cup final. Bradford Northern were, of course, one of Leeds' victors at the quarter-final stage when Leeds defeated Bradford Northern at Headingley quite convincingly. The two captains, Derek Fox and Ellery Hanley, are about to meet in the middle of the park. And, of course, this game will bring memories back of that league meeting here just a couple of weeks or so ago, which Leeds won by 46 points to 30. Leeds cruising to victory before a great Bradford Northern fight back in the final 15 minutes. A hat-trick that day to Ellery Hanley and a hat-trick also to David Myers, the Bradford Northern wingman. Since then, though, while well, Bradford Northern have been beaten twice against Workington and Wigan, Leeds, meanwhile, had two home victories in the Championship against Warrington and Widnes, respectively. Let's then give you the lineups for this Challenge Cup clash. Leeds at full strength, Alan Tate's at full-back, Jim Fallon, Kevin Iro, Craig Innes and Francis Cummins. Gary Schofield passed the fitness test, he wears six, young Graham Holroyd at seven. Harvey Howard, James Lowe's, Isseni Familo, the second rows of uh, Gary Mercer and Richie Ayres, the captain Ellery Hanley, and the two lead subs, George Mann and Neil Harmon. Bradford Northern, will they line up with the Kiwi David Watson at fullback, Roger Simpson, Carl Hall, Gary Christie and David Myers. Halfback pairing of Neil Summers and Derek Fox. The forward line, ex-Leeds, Roy Powell and Trevor Clark. John Hamer, Paul Dixon and Carl Fairbank. Carl Fairbank back in the Bradford Northern lineup after a 10-week absence due to that detached retina. He just needs one try for 100 in his career. And the loose forward for Bradford is Brian McDermott. The two Bradford substitutes for this one, another ex-Leeds contingent in 14 David Heron and 15 Paul Medley. The referee for this one is John Connolly from Wigan. The pitch looking in tremendous condition considering all the rain we've had over the last uh, 24 to 48 hours. I've had sheets on the pitch and there was never any doubt of this big West Yorkshire Challenge Cup tie going ahead. So Leeds about to get the Challenge Cup, the road to Ramley underway. John Connolly gives a blow of the whistle and Graham Hallwoyd kicks into the Bradford Northern half but it's fielded by Derek Fox. First touch for Carl Fairbank, where in the head guard for Bradford Northern, just makes it outside the 20-metre line. Ball goes out to that right-hand side to Brian McDermott. He's tackled by Richie Ayres. Both teams will want to settle the nerves uh, pretty early on. Paul Dixon, strong run from him, makes it to the halfway line before he's tackled by Familo and Hanley. Derek Fox puts the... Diagonal kick through deep inside the least 20 metre line where it's going to be fielded by Alan Tate in the sun on that fast stand side of the field. But Alan Tate met by Carl Hall and Northern as good kick as the chase and Francis Cummings gets an early touch, the Leeds wingman, fresh from his stint with the Great Britain sevens down in Australia. Leeds have possession just outside their own. 20 metre area, ball comes to the right to Gary Schofield, Schofield brings in for Milo, for Milo gets past the first tackle, he's now heading towards halfway, he's got support from Fallon, but a good tackle there by wingman David Myers, bringing him down just about on the halfway line, leads pretty quickly out to the left hand side, Graham Holroyd goes by himself, has support, gets the ball away to Harvey Howard, Howard gets a raw approval from the Leeds fans, takes some putting down the big prop forward when he's in full flight and Neil Summers and David Myers bring him down, final tackle, Graham Holwood with the bomb, pressure on David Watson, Watson though takes it well inside his own 20 metre area, and Northern will have a chance to bring it away from their own danger area. Well thanks, so Bradford quite an opening, enterprising little bit, and Roger Simpson back in the side after injury there, after that hamstring, making good yardage there for Northern, after that good bomb by Holroyd as Christie takes the drive up now for Northern, Bradford obviously with a lot to prove this afternoon, Carl Fairbank, Fairbank in rampant mood again, had McDermott on the shoulder there but penalty straight away, Richie as it was there, holding Carl Fairbank down but Carl and O fired up for this one, been out of the game for 10 weeks with that detached retina but thankfully Carl back on the part and a big influence for Bradford Norden, so Derek Fox takes the quick little tap there, catching People in the way as Trevor Clark up to the 22 there. It's good thinking there by the Bradford skippers. Norden come again with Dixon. Dixon on the charge. Dixon just held there by Fallon. There's Norden with Roy Powell. Roy Powell straightening up there. The big fella would love to get a try at Headingley. Still on his feet. 
Watson, Watson into the line, drops the ball inside to McDermott, but once again, it's the Leeds pack very, very quickly there, round the Bradford place. Dave Watson going there from the acting half-back, quick play of the ball out to Derek Fox. John Hamer propping, straightening up, looking to offload, but that's the handover. So a little bit of pressure there by Bradford Norton, but Ellery Hanley trying to boss the referee there. He's telling him probably, is the ball a little bit soft? And straight away, John Conley giving the ball back to Hanley as Gary Mercer brings the ball away, but that's a good tackle there by Paul Dixon as Fallon coming down the short side. Fallon well spotted there by Roy Powell as Leeds come driving again with Richiers. So Fiumalo on the drive now, but the Bradford defence holding relatively strong in this opening five minutes here at Heading Liz. All right, the long ball out to Schofield, over the top to Iroh. Iroh props, straightens up, but Neil Summers doing a good job there, wrapping the big Kiwi up. The ball back to Richie Ayres, and Holroyd finally gets the ball over the top, and Roger Simpson just misjudging that ball, but the strength of the breeze here at Headingley, blowing from left to right from our commentary position, and Norden with that tap on the 22. So Trevor Clark from acting half-back, McDermott just going on the dummy run there as Clark takes the ball up. Roy Powell, Powell into Mercer, spins out, but couldn't get out of the way there. It's John Hamer, Hamer driving towards the halfway line. That's a good drive by the Bradford prop. Derek Fox on to Mrs. Mrs. Fairbank. Dixon into space. Carl Dixon's got Christie on the outside. He's got Carl Fairbank. And to Gary Christie, Gary Christie's going to go over, but a forward pass there. Referee John Conley right on the spot. Dixon had Fairbank, he had Christie with him, but probably Gary Christie there, just a little bit too excited about getting that ball and overrunning, but Norden there with Dixon splitting the Leeds defence with a good drive. Fairness to John Conley was on the spot there, so Leeds with the scrum. It's Fallon coming across the face of the post, but Summers and Watson wrapping him up the slices of forwards passes there from Paul Dixon to Gary Christie and the referee John Connolly saw it and early pressure by Bradford Northern Leeds will be desperately now trying to get away from their own half of the field Richie Ayres makes a break down that left hand side almost makes it to halfway before he's wrapped up by Neil Summers Leeds have possession then Ellery Hanley Hanley cuts back inside met by two Bradford Northern defenders still manages to offload to James Lowes Lowes finds a gap gets a good ball out to Alan Tate Tate going forward for Leeds but well tackled there by the Bradford Northern number 10, John Hamer. Leads now about 20 metres from that Northern try line. Hanley with a long pass out to Graham Holroyd. An overlap here, Holroyd's found the gap. Just stumbles, just can't get the pass out. The final tackle, Hanley from Action half up. Puts a little grubber, kicks through. Danger for Myers. Just for a second, it looks as if Jim Fallon would, or Kevin Iroh would dive on the ball there. The ball, as far as Northern concern, has gone dead. And they'll be relieved that it's a kick out, a drop out from underneath their post, but just for a brief second it looks perhaps if we're going to see the first points of this Challenge Cup clash. Derek Fox will have the job of dropping out from underneath his post. Six minutes gone, still waiting for the first score line. Long drop out, reaches Gary Schofield. He brings in second row forward Gary Mercer. Mercer met by Hamer who charges his shoulder into him and Mercer's thunderously thrown to the floor with a little bit of help on that far side from hooker Trevor Clark Lowe's an acting halfback feeds for Milo doing a lot of the spade work for Lees down that uh, central part of the field Lowe's feeds Gary Schofield Schofield to hole wide run around between the two Craig Innes has gone into a gap Innes has got support from Hanley has Hanley got the pace to go over he's all inches short just a couple of inches short held there the leads loose forward and there's holding down in the tackle there and it's the number five, David Myers, that's been called across. And he's going to be Sinbin for that, David Myers. He scored three tries in the league clash here, but he held Ellery Hanley down as Hanley was held inches short away from the try line. Hanley wanted to get on with things as quickly as possible. And for 10 minutes, Bradford Northern will be down to 12 men with the wingman Sinbin as Myers makes his way 
back to the dugout on the far side. So an opportunity for Leeds to open the scoring points here at Headingley. A penalty, and Graham Holroyd, the Leeds scrum half, will have the chance of giving Leeds two points. Just to the right-hand side of the upright, a left-footed kicker. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for him. There is a blustery wind, which is probably in favour of Leeds in this first half, blowing in the face of the Bradford Northern players. Hanley, though, held just inches short as Craig Innes came and joined the line on this right-hand side. Just couldn't quite make it for the four points, but an opportunity for the penalty with eight minutes on the clock here at Headingley. Holroyd left-footed, straight between the middle, no problem at all for the young lead scrum half. So the points deadlock has been broken on the eight-minute mark. It's come from the boot of lead scrum half Graham Holroyd and Leeds lead Bradford Northam by two points to nil. And end-to-end -end stuff in the early stages, Bradford Northam making a... Good break and were just held inches short themselves and then Leeds going down the other end, almost scoring the first try. Good open rugby between two deadly rivals as Derek Fox kicks off for Bradford Northern deep inside the Leeds half, bounces once into the hands of Gary Mercer. Mercer though well tackled by the Northern loose forward McDermott who follows it well to bring Mercer down in his own 20 metre line. Here comes Jim Fallon. Fallon eager for possession, getting an early touch, an early feel of the ball, but he's held by Roy Powell. Now it's Harvey Howard. Howard gets the ball away to Craig Innes. Innes shrugs off two, but for Northern tackles there, Innes. Still going the wingman, finds Francis Cummings inside. Good ball to James Lowes, but that one just a couple of inches forward. John Connolly saw it. But Innes and Cummings on that occasion combining well for Lees down that left-hand side. And it'll be a scrum down, almost on halfway with Bradford Northern having the advantage of the put-in. Well, John Connolly doing a good job there. That's two forward passes that he's been right on the spot to see as Northern come up with that ball from the scrimmage. Neil Summers straightens up, but Gary Schofield taking his opposing standoff down. Fairbank on the drive again. Fairbank wearing the head guard. Get up and play the ball properly there. And referee saying that the Leeds player had a hand on Fairbank. I thought it may have gone the other way, that Fairbank didn't play the ball properly. Norton, quick tap the play of the ball as Roger Simpson ducks under the attempted tackle there of Richie Ayres. Gary Christie from the acting halfback. Christie running at Hanley, running towards the post. So Bradford within five metres of that Leeds try line. John Hamer, Hamer turns the back. Back to Derek Fox as Norton keep the ball going. Watson onto Fairbank. Fairbank gets the handoff going back inside to Watson as... Northern keep this ball alive, that's one over the top there, but probably a little bit too adventurous by Bradford Northern. So Northern needs to settle it down as Roy Powell takes the driver, but Hanley smothering man and ball there. Derek Fox from the acted half back onto Watson. Watson bobbing, weaving about. It's the ball to Trevor Clark. Clark drives, but he's just a yard short as the last tackle signal by the referee. That's a good long ball out by Watson, but good tackling there. Carl Fairback looks as though he'd found the gap, but Gary Mercer it was who pulled his ex-colleague down as Fallon from the acting half-back position coming away with the ball there. Carl Fairbank with the scrum cap off his head there, must have been pulled out in that tackle, but it's Leeds on the attack again from the Acting half-back position, Neil Summers wrapping his man up there. Gary Schofield from acting half-back, that's a good ball out. Craig Innes it was that put that ball down, so Bradford with a set of six now as Trevor Clark goes from acting half-back at Fiamalo, but Fiamalo brings him down. Derek Fox, Fox having to prop, having to straighten up there as the Bradford attack. Not really organised, Roger Simpson from acting halfback. Good little darting run there. Simpson coming off the wing, looking for work. Bradford had the early part of the pressure here. It's Summers, the long ball out to Carl Hall. Hall prop steps inside. That's good tackling by Leeds, forcing the Bradford centre. 
into touch and Paul trying to flick that ball up so the chance for Bradford there gone begging a little bit good spell of pressure there but it'll be heading ball to Leeds it's come down then deep inside the Leeds half the field Graham Holroyd comes out on the lead side gets the first pass to Francis Cummins Cummins almost gets away from that first tackle of McDermott who holds him down in the tackle and then the loose forward has a few words to John Connolly and he's penalised, Leeds get another further 10 yards and Graham Holroyd will dispatch the ball onto the roof of the north stand and from being inside their own 20 metre area Leeds now on halfway for Milo at first receiver gets away from Roy Powell runs into Carl Fairbank to Big men meet head-to-head -head inside the Bradford Northern half. Lowe's out to Harvey Howard. Harvey Howard head down, making yards forward for Leeds. Tackled by Hamer. Lowe's feeds it out to this right-hand side to Gary Schofield. Schofield with a pass to Iro. Iro feeds Tate. Tate to Fallon. And again, another forward pass out to this right-hand side. Referee John Connolly spotting it once more. Bradford Northern will have the advantage of the put-in at the scrum inside the own half of the field. So Gary Christie doing a good job there, getting up very, very quickly and forcing that quick pass that caused the error from Leeds. So Derek Fox to pop the ball in. Paul Dixon gone onto the wing now in the absence of David Myers in Sinbin for that professional foul as Neil Summers on to Gary Christie. Christie's got Paul outside him, but a good tackle there by Richie Ayres on the Bradford centre as Roger Simpson props, straightens up, gets out of one tackle and Roger looking for work, coming in off that wing, making good yardage there for Bradford Northern. John Hamer, Hamer driving, bursting the tackle and nobody there really with Hamer, Trevor Clark was on the shoulder but Hamer just couldn't get that ball out as Northern put the pressure on again, Watson coming in on the angle one, Watson trying to push Hanley off and a mistake there as Watson laid the ball back to Brian McDermott and Leeds falling on the ball there with James Lowe's as Leeds set off down that far side with Richie Ayres. Ayres looking to get the ball out but Derek Fox doing a good covering job as Gary Mercer takes the drive up, lays the nice ball back. Summers doing a good tackling job there on Lowe's as the Bradford defence seemed to open up as Mercer coming again. Mercer putting the ball down and that's a mistake there as Bradford on that ball came off the Bradford foot as Kevin Iro went down for that ball and McDermott taking the drive up now towards the Leeds 20 metre mark. Derek Fox. Fox having a go on his own. It's the ball to Clark. Clark just spinning round there but couldn't get out of the clutches of Hanley. Watson, Watson into the line, Watson running across diagonally, onto Carl Fairbank, Fairbank not really coming at any strength there to try and burst that tackle, Trevor Clark from acting halfback, Clark trying to get the ball down and Clark's got the ball down, under a melee of players there, looked as though they'd held him up but John Conley on the spot there and Norden's hooker, Trevor Clark gets Bradford's first try of the afternoon, that was superb play by the Kiwi for Northern. Spotted that little gap. Looked as though he was going to be held up. There was Hanley and a bunch of players around him, but Trevor somehow manages to get that ball out and plonks it down between the post. And John Conley on the spot to award the try to Bradford Northern, and that's pleased the Bradford spectators behind the post at the Kutch Lane end of the ground. So conversion attempt now to come from Derek Fox, Norden into the lead, we've played some 16-17 minutes on the clock here so that's probably the tonic that Bradford Norden needed Fox duly obliged with the extras so 17 minutes gone on the clock here it's Leeds 2 Bradford Norden 6 Leeds just taking the time, coming back to the centre spot to restart and that all from that Kevin Iroh mistake when Norden in on that loose ball and good drives by the forward as David Myers about to come back into the fray on the far side, served his ten minutes in the sin bin as Leeds tried to drop the ball the other way but Dixon 
receives the ball from Derek Fox, but Iro and Fallon in very, very quickly there is McDermott driving at the Leeds defence. That's good, strong running by the Northern Loose forward. Quick play of the ball onto John Hamer. Hamer gets out of one. Hamer having a good game this afternoon, bursting one through one or two of these tackles as Derek Fox onto Fairbank. Fairbank just taking his eye off the ball there and leads with Fumalo. Get the ball back as David Myers back into the fray now as Gary Mercer takes the drive up, gets out of the clutches of Roy Powell. Hamer pulls him down, but finally the Bradford tackling gets up to the Leeds players. Schofield from the acting half back onto Tate. Alan Tate coming into the line, looking for work. Gary Schofield from the acting half back. Sells the little dummy there. That's nice little dummy. Drops the ball inside to Iro. Iro dances out of one, dances out of two. And a poor pass there from Iro. But the ball into the clear. There's Francis Cummings now going for the corner. But Watson doing a good tackling job there. And Watson looks as though he's caught a bit of a knock there but Leeds on that far side is Allroyd losing his feet there Leeds with the pressure on now Harvey Howard just takes the drive up drops the ball back to Famalo but Famalo tackle as the Bradford defence scrambling it's the last tackle signal Schofield on to Hanley Hanley losing the ball there so Bradford scrambling defence doing a good job that's the sixth tackle, so that'll be the handover to Bradford Norton as David Myers wanting to get on with the game quickly. McDermott. So a little bit of a let off there for Norton as Leeds on that sixth tackle. Hanley just losing the ball. Christie from the acting halfback comes round the outside of Hanley, but Fallon finally wraps the Bradford centre up. David Myers. Now a dart from acting halfback. Good little run there by Myers, that 10 minutes in the sim bin, obviously. David fired up this afternoon, Christie up the short side. James Lowe's in there with a good tackle, but that's four tackles gone now. Four Northern, Derek Fox will put the boot to the ball. That's a good kick into the box there, that ball's just going to go down, just a little bit too strong there, so back leads will come to the 22 for a tap on that 22 to restart the game. Leeds have possession then just outside their own 20 metre line. Fallon takes up a first receiver, almost makes the break. Schofield feeds it out to Innes on that left hand side. Innes makes it almost to the halfway line. Good play that by Leeds, getting away from their own half of the field almost. Now for Milo, makes it over halfway, runs into two Bradford Northern tackles of Carl Fairbank and John Hamer. Lowe's out to Harvey Howard. Howard gets past one, turns, gets the ball away to James Lowe's. Lowe's looks for a gap, Hanley's in his way. Referee last play to continue, but that pass has been spilled by Leeds and Nolan have it on that right hand side through Carl Hall. Hall makes it inside the Leeds half before he's brought down by Craig Innes. Fiery start for this Silkut Times Cup clash. Northern lead by six points to two. Trevor Clark tried, Derek Fox conversion after Graham Holroyd had given Leeds that early penalty. Both sides look fired up. Here comes Carl Fairbank, pass inside, good ball to the Bradford Northern second row forward. Bradford looking dangerous again. Fox feeds it to Watson. Watson with a short pass inside to Roy Powell. Powell looks to turn, looks to get the ball away. No, than, no more than a few metres from the try line. And referee stopped the clock. There's going to be a blood bin substitution. One of the Bradford Northern players, it looks like it could be David Watson, who will need some, uh, some attention. And there'll be a changeover. Either David Heron or Paul Medley will come on from the far side. So obviously a cut to the Bradford Northern fullback. And it's going to be David Heron when he gets his tracksuit top and bottoms off as referee John Connolly stops the watch, holding up proceedings. David Heron is on the field, Northern are back to 13 and are just a few metres from that Leeds try line. Derek Fox, drop goal attempt, hits the crossbars, it got over, it has. That's a point for Bradford Northern, Derek Fox with the drop goal. 
It hit the post and then hit the other side of the post. Somehow it managed to go over. It's a further point to Bradford Northern. They now lead by seven points to two. That drop goal coming on 22 minutes. All the points could count in this clash. And Derek Fox has added a further one for Bradford Northern as Graham Holroyd kicks deep inside that Bradford Northern half where it's well fielded by Carl Fairbank. Yeah, Carl Fairbank doing well there, just managing to chest that ball down, trap it half with his foot. It's Northern now inside their own 22, looking to come away with McDermott, but Derek Fox there obviously may have been watching the box yesterday and drop goals that really counted in that tough match Wigan and Saints yesterday that ended in a draw. So Norden now with Paul Dixon. Dixon driving in. Dixon losing the ball there. And Fimalo going down on the ball. So a little bit of a bad mistake there by Norden. As Gary Schofield coming across underneath our position. Gets the ball onto Fallon. Fallon gets out of the way there of Roy Powell. Fallon straightening up now. The ball onto Hanley. Hanley, but Hanley's well met there by Fairbank and Dixon. So leads with Gary Mercer. Mercer straightening up, but the tackling in there off Trevor Clark. Quick play of the ball as James Lowe's goes from the acting halfback. It's out of the clutches there of Carl Fairbank. The ball on to Hanley. Hanley's going to score, and Ellery Hanley there. Good backing up by Leeds. It was the missed tackle by Bradford Norton. Leeds doing well there, keeping the ball alive, and coach is supreme, Ellery Hanley on hand there to back up, take the pass and just force his way over that bring Leeds back into the game on 24 minutes Convert Paul Medley from on Lord. the park and Dave Watson had the little patch up job there so Dave Heron back on the bench as Leeds take the ball there from the kickoff with Mercer as Mercer sets off but Good tackle there by Brian McDermott. Fallon coming in off the wing, looking for work again. As Fallon takes the tackle there of Medley. Leeds moving the ball out, down the short side. Howard managing to offload there, but the Bradford defence scrambling very, very quickly with Neil Summers and Roy Powell. And once again, a mistake by Leeds. Two players there going for the ball. It was Fiamalo. So, a chance for Bradford now, back to 13 players on the park. Dave Watson back in the full-back position as Derek Fox about to pop the ball into the scrum. Ball out with Summers. Summers, the ball out to Watson. Watson brings Myers on the little short run there. Well spotted by Alan Tate. Neil Summers from the acting half-back position up to the 22. Trying to get out of the clutches there, but finally hauled down as Trevor Clark onto John Hamer. Hamer driving towards the post, some seven metres short of that Leeds try line. Derek Fox, the little move on, little cross move there as Dixon it was that was held up. Dixon quick play the ball onto Watson, Trevor Clark, but Clark had the man outside there. Last tackle signal by the referees. Watson onto Derek Fox. Fox the little chick through for Carl Hall. Did Hall get a hand to it? No, the referee saying that the Leeds player got to the ball first, so that'll be a drop out under the post. But nice little kick there by the Bradford skipper. Carl Hall took a dive for the ball, so Holroyd to drop out. That's a good ball by Graham Holroyd. Way up over the halfway line as Myers sets off now at the Leeds defence. Iro and Mercer in there. Christie from the acting half back. Christie there, straight into the waiting arms of Gary Mercer. Roy Powell. Powell to take the drive up. Powell spinning round over the 20 metre mark. Three tackles gone now for Norden as Neil Summers. Summers drops the ball inside to Roger Simpson. Simpson. Offloads the ball there, picked up by Gary Christie. Christie spins out of the tackle, but Lowe's finally wraps him up. Fox, 
the long ball out to Medley, Medley trying to get the hand off going but that's the last tackle signal by the referee as Medley looks to go round the outside Fox the little chip kick through again swept over the back by Roy Powell still on the last tackle as Roy Powell puts the kick into the corner and that ball fine in touch just inside the flag there and not often you see the big fella Roy Powell having a kick but Norton hoping they're going to get the ball back there but referee signal it was still on the six so down will go to scrum on the 10 metre mark but all important that heading ball to Leeds very unusual to see Roy Powell kick in, but he didn't have a lot of chance to do anything else there. It was the final tackle, and in the end it wasn't a bad piece of play by the former Leeds player. Leeds have it inside their own half of the field with Craig and Esley. Three-quarter, Leeds six, Bradford Northern seven, the scoreline, ten minutes to half-time. Gary Mercer. Mercer met by Hamer and by Carl Hall. Lowe's an acting half-back. Leeds put it out to this right-hand side. Schofield tries the clever back pass inside, and it's gone loose and Northern have re-picked up possession and they've got six tackles inside the Leeds half they have possession through Gary Christie Christie runs straight at Graham Holroyd and Harvey Howard Fox feeds it to Brian McDermott now without the head guard makes a powerful run forward makes it to the edge of the 20 metre line Trevor Clark one of the Bradford Northern tries score a short pass to Roy Powell Powell well tackled though by Formilo, Northern now more than about 10 metres from the try line, Watson with a pass out there on that far side to Carl Hall, Hall held about a couple of metres from the try line by Graham Hallway, anxious moments leads for Leeds, ball inside to Roger Simpson but he's well met there by Australia Formilo, maybe a bit of a telegraph pass that one and Simpson is met by the big leads, brought forward, a couple of tackles remaining for Bradford, another attempted shot goal by Derek Fox, it's been given, it's a drop goal to Bradford, just look for a second as if there may have been a slight touch by a lead player as the ball went over, but the point is good, the drop goal is Bradford Northerns. As Leeds kick off deep inside that Ooh, Bradford Northern half. Fox. Watson gets a touch, it goes back and mainly has it. And Bradford Northern will try and bring the ball away, six tackles from deep inside their own half. Yeah, once again the wind proving there that it's very, very strong here at Heading this afternoon as Holroyd with that good kick out. Bradford now need to work the ball up the centre of the park. John Hamer on the drive there, but Derek Fox, that's twice we've seen him not coming away from underneath those posts. On the sixth tackle and two got goals that have made that little bit of difference. Trevor Clark for a little darting run from Action Half. But six tackles. Northern are on now as the ball to Derek Fox and Fox puts the ball over the top, charged down, back to one, so referee saying, play on, that's another set of six for Bradford Norden, as Trevor Clark sweeping up at the back there, as Roger Simpson from acting halfback, Simpson props, a little bit of a high tackle and straight away, referee in there, Harvey Howard it was, that nearly took Roger Simpson's head off, as Simpson was trying to duck under the tackle, Fox sensibly with this strong wind, putting the ball into touch on that far side so another set of six for Norden 33 minutes gone on the clock here at Heading Liz John Hamer takes the drive up for Norden 10 metres from that Leeds try line Roy Powell the big fella Powell just checking the ball up towards the post but wrapped up there by Hanley and Farmalo Derek Fox the little run around there with Dave Watson, Watson offloading the ball, referee saying the ball had gone back as Medley drops the ball off to Carl Hall, but Hanley getting across there to bring Carl Hall down. Norden just two yards short. Roger Simpson, the long ball out to Watson. Watson props, spins round, gets the ball to Derek Fox. Fox takes the drive, but Bradford a little bit static there as Dixon having to take that drive, but no, nobody really running at pace there for Norden. Trevor Clark takes a good ball there, but Clark bottled up by the Leeds defence. And that ball bobbling going loose there, and referee going to give the hand over there. Bradford had the possession back. Didn't realise it was on the sixth tackle. A bit of a sloppy play of the ball there, so it be Leeds to work the ball now out of their own half, and referee giving a penalty against Bradford Norton there not 
directly behind one another at that play of the ball, so a chance for Leeds to relieve the pressure of Paul Medley, just getting a little bit of talking to from John Connolly. So that'll be the penalty to Leeds and a chance for Leeds to work this ball down towards the halfway line as we come up to 35 minutes on the clock here at Headingley. Couldn't be much closer in the fourth round of the Challenge Cup, this one. Certainly a completely different game to the league encounter here a few weeks or so ago. Milo takes up possession for Leeds. Approaching halfway, Lowe's feeds Harvey Howard. Howard runs into McDermott and Hamer, makes it onto the halfway line. Lowe's an acting halfback, short pass to this right-hand side to Gary Mercer. Mercer, well tackled though by Gary Christie and Neil Summers. Now it's Kevin Iro. Iro with the pass inside to Graham Holroyd. Leeds switch the angles out to Richie Ayres. Ayres can find no way through though for Leeds. John Hamer and David Myers with the tackle. Graham Holroyd feeds Gary Schofield. Schofield has Ellery Hanley on his inside, releases the ball. It's gone to the ground, but it's picked up by Familo. Familo out to Jim Fallon on this right hand side. Fallon's not going to get away though. There, there are three Bradford Northern players coming across to tackle him on the 20 metre line. Final tackle this for Leeds. Ball goes wide. Gary Schofield, Schofield with a diagonal kick through. David Watson's after it. He does well in the end, but. Are Leeds going to tackle them over the try line? No, they're not. Watson makes it just an inch or so over, and that prevents the dropout. And Roger Simpson brings the ball away from a danger area. But David Watson did well there, under pressure. Yeah, Watson just managing to get himself outside that try line, but obviously taking another knock there in the process as Norden now drive this ball back up towards the centre spot with Brian McDermott. Paul Dixon. Dixon offloads a good ball there to Neil Summers. Summers up to the halfway line, but the Leeds defence scrambling across as once again the last tackle signal by the referee. Fox under pressure. Fox very, very cleverly there. The crafty Fox just managing to spin round, but Tate back onto that ball. And who's there? Derek Fox chasing his own kick. So good chasing there by the Bradford skipper as Leeds look to come away with the ball again with Francis Cummings and Medline with a good tackle. Mercer coming down the short side as he tackles in again. Medley and Christie doing the tackling this afternoon as Holroyd, the long ball out over the top of Schofield, out to Iro. Iro pops, straightens up, drops the ball inside to Gary Schofield. Schofield's got the players with him. On to Graham Holroyd. Holroyd. Gets out of one, finally gets the ball to Hanley, but good scrambling defence there by Bradford Norton, and Hanley injured there, Hanley going down under that tackle there, but the Bradford defence really having to scramble there. Knock on, that's what the referees judge there, as Hanley went down under a very, very heavy tackle. Referee John Connolly right on the spot there to... See that knock on by Larry Hanley and Hanley just receiving treatment, but referee saying the knock on, so that'll be heading ball to Bradford Norton. But a little bit of a let off there as Leeds opened up with Iro making that initial drive down the centre. And once again, good support play, but credit to Bradford Norton, the scrambling defence getting back there and halting what would have been Leeds' second try. So that score line leads six, Bradford Norton lead as we approach the half-time hooter here at Headingley. So Derek Fox coming away with the ball from the scrum. Ducks under the attempted tackle there of Gary Mercer. Norton just need to run this ball now at the centre of the park as the half-time hooter about to go here at Headingley. Not do anything silly as Roger Simpson from acting halfback. Simpson making good yardage, that's a good little darting run by the Bradford winger. John Hamer, Hamer up over the halfway line. Four tackles now for Bradford. Will we see Derek Fox kick? The ball out to Dixon. Dixon drives at Schofield. Dixon lays a bit of a risky ball back there to Fox. Watson coming from Broken play, but Watson gets out of one. And finally the ball going to ground there as Watson a little bit over it, exuberant there, but referee 
allowing play on, so Schofield coming away with the ball, gets the ball out to Innes, Innes going round the outside, but Innes breaks the tackle, and that ball still loose, but referee saying no knock on there, so Bradford now just needs a tackle to pin leads down, Leeds coming again with Gary Schofield. A long ball out to Holroyd. Holroyd props. Holroyd props. Straightens it. He's got Hanley then. What a time to score a try. Gary Mercer right on the stroke of half time. All from that mistake by Dave Watson that gave Leeds possession back. And that's a killer blow on the stroke of half time. Holroyd doing a good job there. Stepping inside and had two, three supporting players, Hanley and Gary Mercer, and it was Gary Mercer taking the ball there. Bradford putting Lee really into the front. kept the tackling up in the first half. It's been end-to-end -end play here at Eddingley. Ten points to eight. Holroyd makes no mistake this time, so Leeds will go in at half time. There's the half time hooter. Leeds going in at half time with that four point lead. And it looks like the referee, before the players go off the park, he's just going to have a word with somebody. He's pulling Ellery Hanley out. And Dave Watson, so it must have been something that happened in that tackle. The half-time hoot has gone here at Heading there, but Hanley and Watson incurring the wrath of Mr. Connolly. Well, I don't think Mr. Connolly's heard the hoot go, but uh, I thought I'd heard that hoot go for half-time. So Bradford about to restart. Probably my mistake there that I thought I'd heard that who to go. So it's Mercer now to drive the ball out. But there goes the who to for half time. So that's a summary of the first half. Close first 40 minutes, Leeds taking the early advantage to that Graham Holroyd penalty, but Northern heading back with that Trevor Clark try pushing over underneath the post. Fox had it for conversion 6-2, then we saw a Fox drop goal to make it 7-2 for Leeds it back with a first try. Ellery Handley going in after good work from Lowe's and Tate. Graham Holroyd missed the conversion 6-7, Northern led before another Fox drop goal eight minutes before half-time, made it 8-6, but right on the stroke of half-time, a great Graham Holroyd break, found Gary Mercer in support, Mercer went in for Leeds' second try, this time there was no problem for Graham Holroyd. An intriguing second half to come, half-time Leeds lead by 12 points to 8. Well, the two teams coming out for the second half here at Headingley. Bradford with the same 13 on the park and that killer try just before half time so no doubt Peter Fox and Nigel Stevenson in that dressing room at half time had a big motivating job to do Derek Fox it'll be to restart the second half and Norden with that wind at the back so will we see a Fox kicking game in this second half as John Conley gets the second half of this Silk Cup Challenge Cup match underway. The ball fielded well there as Gary Mercer taking the drive out of the 22, but John Hamer and Gary Christie in there to effect the tackle. Fallon coming in off the wing, looking for work. Fallon, big, strong, leads winger. Faimalo, it's good running by the Leeds prop. Good yard is made by Leeds. Harvey Howard, Howard, Howard this time well smothered by Roy Powell and penalty there, Brian McDermott, the guilty party there, holding down, so 
First free kick of the second half to Leeds as Graham Holroyd pops the ball nearly into our commentary position, so a set of six for Leeds. Quick tap penalty taken, James Lowe is feeding a semi for Milo and Leeds midway between the halfway line and the Bradford Northern 20 metre line. Lowe feeds Holroyd, Holroyd with a short pass inside to Richie Ayres, the Leeds second row forward, comes blindside but tackled by Paul Medley and Roy Powell. Lowe's feeding Ellery Hanley, Hanley makes it to the edge of the 20 metre line. Lowe's out to Mercer, quick play the ball by Leeds. Inside to Craig Innes, Innes steps past one tackle but well brought down by McDermott and by Paul Dixon but Leeds are looking dangerous here as Hanley goes by himself. Little grubber kick put through, has Hanley gone for the try himself? He has! The Leeds loose forwards got him for this 31st try of the season. And Leeds opening the points in the opening minute or so of this first, this second half. A clever little kick through by Ellery Hanley. Maybe Bradford Northern was suspecting that he would maybe put the ball out wide towards Kevin Iro or Jim Fallon. But there was Ellery Hanley with that little grubber kick through. It stretched to Bradford Northern defence. Hanley followed up and the Leeds loose forward and captain has gone in for his second try of this one. Derek Fox will be kicking off and there's an injury to one of the Bradford Northern players. Trevor Clark is receiving a fair bit of attention from the physiotherapist deep inside his own half. He's having the uh, headband put on and David Watson's also gone to the sidelines. David Herron's come on. Looks as if Clark's going to continue. And one or two war wounds for Bradford Northern at the start of the second half. Bradford Northern penalised. David Myers has also added insult to injury by saying something to the referee. He's going to have to be careful, David Myers. Already spent 10 minutes in the sim bin for a professional foul in the early stages of this one. He doesn't want to digress too many more times with the referee. Leads have gained another 10 yards. And Graham Holroyd will kick the ball into touch on that north stand side. Leeds have the tap penalty on halfway. Lowe's feeds for Milo. For Milo, strong run by him. Met by four Bradford Northern tacklers. Now it's Graham Holroyd. Holroyd with a short pass inside to Howard. Howard tackled by Roy Powell in centre field. Lowe's out to this left hand side. Gary Schofield. Schofield with a pass inside to Richie Ayres. Ayres spots a gap, but it's quickly closed by David Myers. Lowe's again, feeds Gary Schofield. Schofield with a long pass out to Holroyd. Holroyd manages to keep hold, pushes off one tackle, still going the lead scrum half. Dummies, pass inside to Jim Fallon. Fallon's got to try and keep the ball alive. Now it's Kevin Iro. Good handling this by Leeds. Is Iro tackled? Referee says he is now as he's finally brought down by Paul Medley. No, play on. Was that a tackle? Iro wasn't tackled according to the referee. Leeds have a penalty. No more than five metres from that Bradford Northern try line. And Ellery Hanley will decide whether Leeds will maybe kick for goal or whether they'll go for the four points. And Ellery Hanley also having a word with the referee about the match ball. That's about the second time he's had a word with him about it. And Leeds are going for the two points. Bradford Northern penalised and Graham Holroyd who had the conversion from roughly about that same position only a few minutes ago will be looking to add two further penalty points for Leeds certainly Leeds have started this uh, second half very eager to get some early points on the board so much at stake the wind fairly blustery at the first time the ball's blown over. Indeed, from one of the Leeds tries, that Ellery Hanley first try, the ball actually blew over just he was about to kick it. Otherwise, I'm sure Holroy would have had another two points to his tally this season. And he may need some assistance, Graham Holroyd went maybe even slightly stronger at the start of the second half than it's been for the first 40 minutes and Kevin Iroh is going to do the 
the job of holding the ball, is he? No. We're going to try again. The wind comes up again. A few boos from the Bradford Northern supporters. A few whistles, but Holroyd steps up now, and that's not going to even go the distance. It's fielded by Roger Simpson, and the wind having its effects for about the third time as far as goals have been concerned. And that's a two-point lead off for Bradford Northern. And they're deep inside their own half of the field with Trevor Clark, desperately trying to get away from their own danger area, getting it to halfway. They'll no doubt try to play six tackles just to make as many yards forwards as they can and then maybe put the kick in and try and pen leads back inside their own half. Clark feeds David Herod. Herod. Well tackled though by Gary Merson already. It's the final tackle as uh, Mercer and Dixon have one or two words to say to one another. And Leeds have been penalised. Gary Mercer has been penalised by the referee. And Derek Fox will kick the ball into touch on that North Stand side. And Bradford will be in a good position for six tackles. Well, a little bit of indiscipline there by both sides in this opening five minutes of this second half. Bradford really the guilty parties, but Gary Mercer there giving that penalty away. So Bradford come driving again with the big fella Roy Powell. But Powell well met there by Fiumalo. And Hanley is Derek Fox onto Paul Dixon. Dixon running at pace, spinning round, bouncing out of the tackle, but halted on the 20. And that ball coming out there, and referee just looking to his touch judge as the players there all going together. And Hanley there trying to appeal to the touch judges. This we don't need to see in rugby league. And John Conley there, right in the middle of it, pulling the players apart. And once again, Hanley there, trying to referee the game with that touch judge on that far side. But no doubt Mr Conley will sort it out himself. Referee just asking the players to move back. So, fever running high at Heading Lynn, of course, a big thing at stake. Of course, the Twin Towers at the end of April, and Bradford Norden well fired up this afternoon, knowing that they need to do something here at Heading Lynn this afternoon, or the season's virtually over, except for the Premiership playoff. And Mr. Connolly there just consulting both his linesmen. Telling Ellery Hanley to move away from the play. I didn't actually see Graham, who was at the bottom of that um, initially. I think it was six or one and a half, doesn't the other? There were all sorts of uh, fracas between players, one or two fists being thrown. So, what John Connor will make of that, we'll have to wait and see. I think maybe both sides are guilty as one another, though. I think probably in fairness, a scrum down, but let's see who he thinks that the instigator was. Or... And still along. Conflab there, and finally he's pulling out John Hamer and Kevin Iro. Those are the two players that John Conley just having a word with, and the yellow card coming out for the pair of them. So Hamer gets 10 minutes in the sin bin. And Kevin Iro walks as well there. So probably Mr. Conley doing the right thing there just to. Settle things down as another two players now being pulled out as Paul Dixon and Gary Mercer. It looks like the other player there as these two had a little bit of a, a tussle between one another, so a lengthy delay here at Headingley. While referee and touch judges finally sort the whole thing out, down we go to scrum for a knock on. And the head and ball going to Leeds there. So much to the disgust of the Bradford spectators on our right-hand side, underneath those posts. Pack there moving off the 10-metre mark, so really the referee should have broken them up and got them back in, but we get back on with the game as Fallon takes the ball there, nearly losing it at the first attempt as Leeds come away now with Craig Innes and the tackling, fast 
furious there by Paul Medley and McDermott as Fiamalo comes up with the ball but good tackling there by Roy Powell as Lowe's from the acting half-back position as the roar goes up from the south stand here for a high tackle Lowe's finally gets to his feet as Richie Ayres takes the drive up for Leeds now at the Bradford tacklers in very very quickly we're on the last tacklers Schofield pops the ball over the top and finds touch midway between the Bradford 20 metre and the halfway but of course head and ball to Bradford Norden both teams down to 12 men after that little altercation there so Derek Fox to this ball into the scrum he's got David Myers coming in off the wing as Myers looks to come across the centre of the... Myers gets away from Schofield. Myers has just got Tate to beat. Good cover tackling back there by Francis Cummings as Roger Simpson in at acting half-back. Simpson elects to go alone, gets round the outside of Hanley. Simpson's straightening up, but... Lowe's in there very, very quickly. Christie from acting half-back. Christie putting the ball down there, referee saying the ball had gone back, no knock on David Heron Heron drops, straightens up, drops the ball inside to Carl Hall but nobody really coming running there for Bradford Norden four tackles and Norden just outside that 20 metre area is Roy Powell just the drive up at Hanley, clamping man and ball there, finally holds the big prop down last tackle signal by the referee so Derek Fox the little run round with Heron, Heron props, straightens up, drops the ball back inside as Medley on the charge now, we're still on the last tackle and Medley needs to release the ball to Roy Powell as Powell straightens up but last tackle and finally leads, clamp man and ball so that'll be the handover to Leeds, a little bit of panic football there by Bradford but Leeds come up with a set of six. Alan Tate takes over possession for Leeds and Bradford Northern are penalised by the referee John Connolly gives the penalty to Leeds, reminding that both teams for the moment are down to 12 men, with Kevin Iro and John Haver in the sim bin for that uh, fracard a few moments ago. It's 16,095 for this one. Always going to be a, a game with a lot of interest locally as a two. Yorkshire rivals meet, Northern penalised again for holding in the tackle. Paul Dixon, this time the guilty party and Leeds are gradually finding their way deeper and deeper inside that Bradford Northern half as a roll goes up from the south stand below this television gantry another Leeds try now would really make it difficult for Bradford Northern if Northern were to get four points well it would be anybody's game it's wide open this one at this moment as for Milo has it on that far side gets a passage in Fallon Fallon goes out Myers just met there by two tackles and in the end he does well, and there's another skirmish on that far side. James Lowe's is involved. There's four or five Bradford Northern players, David Myers, and this game is really boiling over at this moment in time. So much at stake, but this still could challenge cup clash as Jim Allen made a break down that right-hand side. He had three Bradford Northern players coming across to tackle him. He was pushed into touch, but a couple of Players didn't like what happened, and John Conley again, with a little bit of help from his touches on the far side, has to try and sort things out once more again. And that John Conley will want to stamp his authority on this game. And there's a, another sim bidding, and I think it's David Myers who's going to go in the sim bid again. Myers, of course, already spent 10 minutes in the sim bin at the start of this game, or in the early stages. And David Myers is even having one or two more words to say as he makes his way off. So Bradford Northern now are down to 11 men. Hamer's gone to the sim bin. Now David Myers has gone for a second stint in the sim bin. And Leeds have... A man advantage and they're deep inside the Bradford Northern half. Alan Tate spots the gap in the Northern defence. Tate can release the ball. Innis was in support. 
Anxious moments these for Bradford as Ayres takes a possession back in half back. It really is scrambling defence here for Bradford Nord at this moment in time. Lowe's out to Schofield. Schofield delays the pass to Ellery Hanley. Hanley met by one tackle, and there's another high one by McDermott, and Leeds have a penalty. Ellery Hanley's laid flat down from that tackle on him. Leeds will have the penalty. And Derek Fox, the northern scrum half, is coming across to find out what exactly the damage is. Leeds warm up their two substitutes on the far side. Now, of course, Neil Harmon and George Mann. Maybe Doug Lutton deciding to bring a couple of fresh legs on. With both sides not having the full complement of players on at this particular moment in time. This game is really poised for a very interesting final 22 minutes. 16 points to 8 leads lead. And John Connolly is now calling across Trevor Clark. Derek Fox comes back across again. The referee trying to deliberate exactly what has gone on. Maybe something has been said. Maybe Northern needs to be a little bit careful. There are only two players down. Leeds have the penalty. And they decide not to go for goal. They've got a man advantage. And Leeds are no more than a two, three metres from the try line. Lowe's with a long pass out to Gary Schofield. Schofield, though, is well tackled by... Neil Summers in front of his own post. Gary Mercer. Mercer goes sideways. Well tackled though, though, by three Bradford Northern defenders. Leeds will look sure to spread it quickly to the other side. They do. Harvey Howard. Good tackling this though by Bradford. Defence holding out at the moment. Schofield. Long pass out to Alan Tate. Is there a chance for Leeds on that far side? Looked to be an overlap for a brief second, but Northern's defence is there again. It's the final tackle. Hanley and acting half-back, back to Gary Schofield, attempted drop goal. Schofield adds the point for Leeds. Leeds get a drop goal through the standoff. Gary Schofield, that extends Leeds' lead to 17 points to eight. Schofield with a drop goal then on 59 minutes. Goal adage of... If you're putting pressure on your opponents, you better to come back with something than nothing. As Derek Fox has done on two occasions for Bradford. And Paul Dixon on the halfway line is having words to say to the referee. Kevin Iro is back on, or is about to come back on, as indeed is John Hamer. And Carl Fairbank's also warming up on that far side as well. So it could be that Fairbank could replace Hamer, that could be the idea when the 10 minutes is up nevertheless northern kickoff fielded by jim fallon deep inside his own half of the field fallon does well gets the ball away to james lowe for a good tackle there paul dixon's down injured tate manages to hold on Derek fox makes a conversion carl fairbanks on so Northern make the substitution. John Hamer has spent his 10 minutes in the sim bin, so Fairbanks back on. Kevin Iroh's back on. And Hamer's actually could be about to come back on, so it's a little bit confusing at the moment. There's one or two players on that far side. And Hamer's going to come back on, and he's going to be replacing Paul Dixon, who obviously picked up an injury just a few moments ago. And there's a knock on which the referee John Connolly spots. Maybe looks like the ball went back, but referee said no. And finally, we'll see the substitutions I think taking place. Dixon's gone off, John Hamer's come on, and we're still waiting to see who's going to come off for Leeds. Harvey Howard is one of them, and a Sadie for Milo. So Leeds bring on George Mann and Neil Harmon. Ball comes out on the Bradford Northern side, 17 points to eight. 
Paul Medley has it inside his own half of the field, but he's going absolutely nowhere. He's well tackled by Kevin Iro and by Ellery Hanley. Paul an acting half back, no way through for him. Met by three Leeds tackles. Simpson out to Derek Fox. Fox feeds David Herod. Heron out to Fairbank. Fairbank. Well held though by Graham Holroyd and Jim Fallon on that far side of the field. Gary Christie for Bradford. Christie though, well tackled, no way through for him. Solid tackling by Leeds at this moment in time. Heron, Heron passes the ball inside. That looked like a forward pass from Hamer to Fairbank. Referee says play on. Final tackle for Bradford Northern. And Northern have been given a penalty. And Derek Fox will kick the ball into touch. And Northern no more than about 20 metres from the Leeds try line. So Northern with Paul Medley now on the drive, going across the centre of the post. Medley ducks out of one, out of two, but a good tackle there by Holroyd. As Roger Simpson from the acting half-back position. Simpson ducking, bobbing, weaving about there, but Neil Harmon finally wraps him up. Heron. Heron, the long ball out. Heron trying to sell the dummy, but good sliding tackle coming across there by Gary Mercer. As Gary Christie from the acting half back, but Norden not really moving this ball out wide now as Derek Fox onto Carl Hall. Hall got out of one tackle there, but once again it's the last tackle signal by the referee as Derek Fox will put the little chip through for Carl Fairbank. Fairbank holding his man down underneath the post, so the Derek Fox kick, and I think probably the introduction of Carl Fairbank taking Paul Dixon off. A little bit of a wise move there, and looks like an injury there to Alan Tate. As Fairbank went in after that ball, after the Derek Fox kick through, but I think probably putting Paul Dixon onto the bench for 10 minutes just to cool off. Proceedings were starting to get a little bit heated, and referee John Conley wants them to get on with the game, and finally calling for a stretcher, and Mr Conley just having to Halt proceedings now as Alan Tate looks as though he's taking a serious knock there. And Trevor Clark just going in just to make sure that Tate's all right. So it's still that score, Leeds 17, Bradford Norden 8 and Although we've 64 minutes on the clock here at Headingley. Probably quite a little bit longer to go because of the various stoppages we've had in this fiery second half. And a little bit slow there, getting the stretcher out as Tate just receiving treatment. gingerly trying to get to his feet but probably on recommendation of the physio or the doctor going onto the stretcher and into that dressing room to receive attention as David Myers on that touchline side about to come back into the fray so Norden back up to the full complement of players as Alan Tate stretched off the field So, let's get back to Rugby League here at Headingley as Leeds with Graham Holroyd about to drop the ball out from underneath his post and that ball taken well by Gary Christie as Christie comes across the face of the defence but Leeds in there very, very quickly with Lowe's, Harmon and Hanley. John Hamer, but Hamer nowhere to go there as the Defence up very, very quickly on the Bradford prop. Cal Fairbank. Fairbank ducks the head, drives at Hanley, but he's pulled short down to short of the 20 metres. Trevor Clark lays a good ball inside to the big fella Roy Power, but he's halted just 10 metres short of that Leeds try line. Dave Heron. Heron props. Had Medley coming on the inside, but just couldn't release the ball. And once again, the last tackle signal by the referees. Medley, the little chip through this time and finally leads just falling on that ball, it looked like Fallon.
managing to get a hand to that ball as Gary Christine very quickly so Norden keeping the pressure on Leeds Holroyd it'll be to once again drop the ball out from underneath his own post drives the good ball into space and Myers this time takes the ball back on the field after that 10 minutes in the sim bin comes across the centre of the park but good spotting there McDermott McDermott into a clutch of Leeds players there Carl Fairbank Fairbank running with a little bit of purpose nice ball inside to Derek Fox Fox just wrapped up there by Gary Schofield as Fairbank opened the gap up there Neil Summers Summers sells a little dummy but Leeds defence scrambling across and referee going to give a penalty there Neil Summers getting up straight away out of that tackle probably didn't feel it was hell so pressure now to be taken off of Leeds with that free kick and it'll be Lowe's to take a tap the strong wind as Leeds trying to come away onto Kevin Iro. Iro trying to go around Christie but the Bradford defence getting across there very very quickly on the Leeds Kiwi centre takes three Bradford Northern players to bring Kevin Iro down now it's Jim Fallon good run that by the wingman makes a few vital yards forward short pass from Lowe's to Mercer Leeds just trying to get away from their uh, own half of the field they've been penned down there for a good few minutes now by Bradford Northern Ellery Handley, he'll take the ball from Martin Halfback, spots the gap, will almost make it to halfway. Two ferocious tackles coming on the leads, loose forward, bringing him down. Gary Schofield, Schofield puts the right footed kick through, bounces into the hands of Neil Summers, Summers then for Bradford. Can find no way through there, well tackled by Gary Mercer. A knock on. Referee had a look towards the touch judge on this south stand side and Northern guilty of knocking the ball on according to the touch judge and it will be a scrum down inside the northern half with Leeds having the advantage of the put in. 11 minutes remain, 17 points to 8, Leeds lead Bradford Northern. Here comes George Mann, Mann with the pass inside, the ball's gone loose, he's going to get the ball back but he was offside anyhow. And this time Bradford Northern will have the tap penalty and Roger Simpson takes it quickly to himself. On towards halfway and Bradford Northern could desperately do with a try now. Hamer, Hamer releases the ball to Medley. Medley though tackled by Ayres and Innes. McDermott from acting halfback. Goes round Ellery Hanley, short pass inside to Carl Fairbank. Fairbank looks to release the ball, he's knocked the ball on and Fairbank trying to force the issue. And the ball's gone loose, and there's another fracas. There's a four or five players involved once more. The touch judges come running on. This could get really nasty. And John Connolly again has a job of trying to sort who the guilty parties were. Again, John Connolly stops the watch. Be interesting to see who he pulls out here. The touch judge has actually took some time to uh, come on. I think maybe John Conley had the best view out of the, the three officials, keeping the teams apart. All the players wait for John Connolly to uh, decide. Brian McDermott's been called across. Referee's laid the law down to him. And Graham Holroyd's been called across. I think the referee said it another case of six of one and half does another again, and finally decides that. Leeds have been awarded the penalty and Graham Holroyd will kick the ball into touch quick tap played from Lowe's to Harmon Harmon runs into 
Shemaklar, like a train there. Hamer brings him down. Holroyd for Leeds. Brings in Harvey Howard. Howard runs into Hall, shrugs him off, gets the ball away. Lows to Schofield. Schofield to Ayres. Ayres, can he find a gap? Good tackle that. Vital one as well by David Heron. Bradford Northern player down injured. George Mann. Mann tackled on that far side. Northern Physio one, roughly on play to continue. Lowe's with the pass to Mercer. Gary Mercer's got to go by himself. Lee's second row forward. Finally held up just on that 20 metre line. McDermott, the Northern player, receiving attention from the Physio. Leads in a good position again. Ball comes to the left hand side. Gary Schofield. Schofield out to Graham Holroyd. Holroyd steps inside. One player puts the kick over the top. Holroyd with a chase for the line. Holroyd's got the try for Leeds. Brilliant play by the Leeds scrum half. An individual try scored by Graham Holroyd. And that could be the try that clinches this Silcott Times Cup clash for Leeds. Holroyd found the gap. Just chipped the ball over the top. Managed to dive on the ball just before it went dead. And Graham Holroyd, the lead scrum half, gets what could be the clinching try for Leeds. Extends the lead to 21 points to eight. An individual try. All the credit of that one goes to the lead scrum half. Northern gathered underneath their posts, and that probably will be the crucial touchdown. Graham Holroyd then, just six minutes remain, adds the two points, and Leeds now lead by 23 points to eight. And it looks as if for the second successive season, Leeds are going to knock Bradford Northern out of the Silk Cut Challenge Cup here at Headingley. It's been quite tight for a long, long time this game. But in this second half, that early try scored by Ellery Hanley, and then that Schofield drop goal, and now that Graham Holroyd try and conversion. Leeds have kept Northern out for this second half. Fallon feeds James Lowe's, Lowe's to Neil Harmon, long pass out to George Mann, Mann feeds Iro. Iro steps inside, puts the ball out, the ball's gone loose and Northern will have possession. It's going to be a knock-on, Leeds had the first knock-on, so Northern will have the advantage of the put-in at the scrub. 23-8 with five minutes remaining. Yeah, I think probably a little bit of indiscipline by Bradford Norton in this second half. We had a classic first half of good rugby. That one coming in off the props legs and Leeds getting the strike against the head there. It was Gary Schofield in the back of that pack, so Leeds coming away with a good sliding tackle across the park there by Carl Hall, but Leeds in possession as Innis straightens up and gets out of one, but finally halted there by McDermott Leeds driving again with Harmon but Harmon's wrapped up on the halfway line 75 minutes gone on the clock here at Heading probably at least a good four or five minutes but Leeds driving now with Richie Ayres and Carl Hall in on the tackle there finally Leeds putting the boot to the ball and Roger Simpson at the back having to sweep up as Simpson sets off across the park, Hanley there, and Medley, John Hamer it was, and looks like John Hamer's going to incur the wrath of the referee there, that to me looked like Ellery Hanley ran into John Hamer, but referee on the spot and going into the pockets for the card, so probably John Hamer's Going to have another 10 minutes in the sin bin and a lot of indiscipline by Bradford Norton this afternoon that's probably cost them this cup tie. Touch judge on as well as John Hamer trying to protest his innocence there to the referee. Carl Fairbank just 
pulling John Hamer out of the way. The touch judge on this side just explaining to John Conley exactly what happened and the touch judges really had the work cut out this afternoon, been involved in this silk cut tie. And John Hamer now being pulled out by the referee, Derek Fox there in attendance, the skipper. Penalty awarded to Leeds and Hanley getting the penalty there for that off the ball incident. So a chance for Leeds now to drive the ball once again into the Bradford 20, 20 metre areas. Gary Schofield pops that ball into touch. So Leeds with Harvey Howard taking the driver and three Bradford defenders round him very, very quickly there. There's Harmon, Harmon coming driving. He's halted just two yards short there. Leeds switching the ball to Richie Ayres round the short side but the cover tackling coming over. It's still that score. Leeds 23, Bradford Northern Aid as the long ball goes out to Holroyd. Holroyd spins a beautiful ball out, Mercer doing well there. Good tackling there by Bradford as Hanley picks the ball up from acting halfback. Hanley shows the ball, but this time four Bradford players wrap him up very, very quickly. And that's another penalty there. Probably the referee at fault for not shouting hell, but... Once again, referee stops the clock as Hanley was dumped to the floor there unceremoniously. And Hanley obviously wanting to quieten this game down, electing to go for goal. Referee finally pulls out David Heron there as the guilty party. And the way, I think where we're going, Graham, we've about ten minutes of stoppages in this second half. Must have there been that many stoppages for uh, the players uh, having a, a bit of a dig at one another. John Connolly's been reaching for his card on three or four times. Has not made his mind up what he's going to do on a couple of occasions. He's obviously sent one or two players to the sim bin already in this one. And uh, it really has been a battle royale between these two sides. One or two uh, maybe old scores to settle. Yeah, so Hanley there opting to try and settle matters down a little bit and giving Holroyd the penalty attempt just to the right hand side of the uprights on the 20 metre mark once again Holroyd having all sorts of problems this afternoon just seating the ball there on that mound of sand 23-8 in favour of Leeds So Holroyd once again that ball dropping over as John Conley signals to the timekeepers to stop the clock. So Holroyd the third attempt at this penalty attempt. Little spin round the corner there. Strikes the ball, adds the two points. So Bradford now with a big uphill task as George Mann there and Carl Hall just having a little altercation on the way back. So Derek Fox will restart from the centre, puts the long ball down to Schofield. Schofield offloads the ball to Richie Ayres, but Ayres well tackled there by McDermott, just ankle tapped him. Fallon coming in off the wing, looking for work. Fallon gets out of one tackle there of Carl Fairbank, but takes the ball and finally thrown to the ground by Roy Powell. Harmon, Harmon driving up again. Four tackles gone now, four leads. 
leads with Richie Ayres. Ayres prop steps inside, but McDermott hauls him down on the halfway line as last tackle signal by the referee. So Schofield drive the ball deep into the Bradford half of the field, and that's a good touch kick on that far side by Gary Schofield, driving the Northern players back. Gam will go to scrum on the 10 metre mark. So Norden with a good 90 metres of this field to get anywhere near that Leeds try line, possibly for a consolation try, but looks like Norden's dream of those Twin Towers at Wembley are going to be ended again for the second year in succession here at Headingley as Myers coming away, but Hanley out of the pack there very, very quickly wraps the Bradford winger up. Heron. The ball on to Carl Hall, but Hall having to take the tackle there as the lead spotters, but managing to offload the ball to Gary Christie as Christie drops the ball over the top of Neil Summers there. Once again, a mistake by Bradford Northern. Summers, just that little lax of concentration there that putting that ball down as Christie tried to unleash him on the wing. So leads with Gary Schofield at scrum half now. Ball in and out of the scrum, Schofield a little run round as the ball dropped off short there to Craig Innes, but Bradford scrambling back there with the tackle from Carl Fairbank. Leads with Schofield, Schofield floats a long ball over the top and George Mann it was that had to take the tackle as Leeds go down the short side Lowe's from the acting halfback. That's another Leeds try. Looked like Gary Mercer to me that went over for that try. Leeds coming up pace there from that quick play of the ball. And surely that's the end of Bradford Norton here at Headingley this afternoon. So Mercer with his second try of the afternoon has extended Leeds lead to 29 points to eight. In the second half, really, Leeds have uh, been in complete control. As Graham Holroyd has a chance for another conversion, is successful. So Leeds get the 30 points up, 31 points to eight then, the scoreline. So it will be Leeds that go through to the next round of this year's Silk Cut Challenge Cup and for two seasons in succession. Bradford Northern bowed in the competition at the hands of Leeds. Last year it was at the quarter-final stage. This year, of course, the first hurdle as far as the first division sides are concerned as Richie Ayres has it and Trevor Clark laying on there. And I think Trevor Clark's going to be Simbin, so that's the end of his game. Elbow on the Leeds player and I think it's a case of Redford Northern being a little bit frustrated now so Trevor Clark walks wearily off John Connolly indicates what his decision was for and Graham Holroyd puts the ball into touch deep into uh, injury time here at England there's been a fair few stoppages in the second half of this one for the Alan Tate injury and then for the uh, stoppages that John Connolly has imposed after one or two disagreements between the players. Neil Harmon makes it inside the Bradford Northern half. Lowe's an acting halfback, takes up possession by himself, thinks about the pass, but is held up on that far side of the field. Hanley an acting halfback, long pass to Graham Holroyd, Holroyd to Schofield. And Gary Schofield knocked the ball on under pressure from that tackle and there'll be a scrum down inside the northern half with Bradford having the advantage of the put-in ball comes out northern side Derek Fox feeds it out to Gary Christie Christie to David Myers Myers met by four of these tackles almost on halfway Gary Schofield puts the kick in the ball still in possession, Northern will retain possession through Paul Medley. That was a swinging arm by Richie Ayres. 
Referee is going to penalise Leeds here. John Connolly saying, just calm things down. We've seen enough Simbins in this one. Richier has been spoken to by the referee from Wigan. And they've had something like five, six, seven minutes of added time. Leads are penalised for dumping John Hamer. Derek Fox takes the tap penalty. Roy Powell. Powell offloads to David Heron. Heron to the 20 metre line, but anything more than get now, of course, is going to be nothing more than consolation, but at least they're keeping going to the very end. McDermott makes extra yards forward. Heron, ball wide to Derek Fox. Fox to Fairbank. Fairbank goes for the line himself, gets the ball away, and Paul Medley's going to be in for a try underneath the post for Bradford Northern. Medley scores in injury time underneath the post. 31 points to 12 now the scoreline, so at least Paul Medley making the scoreline a little bit more close. 31-12 now the scoreline. Leeds were perhaps disappointed that they couldn't keep Northern out till the end in the second half. As Derek Fox adds the two points, 31-14. And this injury time just keeps on coming. Stopwatch says we've had about nine minutes Approaching 10 minutes of injury time. As Leeds kick off through Graham Holroyd. Feeds Roger Simpson. Simpson runs into Familo. Hamer to Roy Powell. Powell turns. Tackled by Hanley and by Harmon. McDermott's left the ball behind him. He's knocked the ball on with another scrum down. And Leeds will have the put in. <laughs> Gary Schofield will feed the scrum. Brings in Kevin Iro. Iro. Has Craig Innes in support. Innes tries to go around Carl Hall, but Innes is tackled on the 20 metre line. Now it's Francis Cummins, the lead winger, comes inside, tackled though by, by Hall and by Hamer. Lowe's, Lowe's feeds the ball inside to George Mann. Mann gets the ball away to Lowe's, Leeds keeping the ball. Ivy's going to be even more points in this Challenge Cup clash. Leeds no more than a few metres from that try line. Schofield, Schofield tries to find a gap himself, but McDermott comes up with possession for Bradford Northern. <laughs> Carl Hall has it for Bradford outside his own 20 metre area. 31 points to 14, Leeds lead as Fox puts the kick in, David Myers is after it. Graham Holroyd, of course, has had to go into the full back first since Alan Tate's injury and he has to go a long, long way to get it back. Fallon gets the pass from Holroyd and then Fallon decides to go and run himself down that north stand side. And the end is tackled by John Hamer. George Harm, George Mann has it. Richie Ayres, Ayres, can he get the ball away, finds Francis Cummins, Cummins steps inside but he's tackled by Hall and Summers. Hanley had acted halfback, two tries for him in this one, for Milo. At last there goes a full-time hooter. So Leeds progress through to the next round of a Sulcut Challenge Cup.
31 points to 14, the final scoreline. Good, strong second half performance by Leeds. Reminded that Leeds led 12-8 at half time. But in the second half, with the exception of that late consolation try for Paul Medley, it was a strong performance by Doug Lawton's team. And Leeds are victors by 31 points to 14. Gary, obviously a great win over Bradford Northern. Um, through to the next round of the Challenge Cup, no doubt the lads delighted. Yeah, we're, you know, we're pretty pleased with our effort today. I mean, first 20 was a lot tough. I think we threw a lot of ball on the ground. Bradford capitalised on it, got ahead. And um, second, we went in the first half just ahead and we thought, well, if we do the basics right, we're going we're gonna to win the game. And we did that. We come out in the first half, scored, second half, sorry, and scored um, straight away. And, um, you know, that got the boys' tails up and um, we went through and won the game. It was going to be a seesaw battle. Northern were looking for revenge after the league defeat down there a few weeks ago. Yes, I mean, uh, we knew Northern would come out a lot stronger this week. I mean, they're a great side. You know, they've got some good players. Um, it was a very physical game. And, um, you know, we, we enjoyed it. Um, we, we got to this next round of the Challenge Cup, so we'll be waiting tomorrow night for the draw. I mean, the crucial period was a try just before half time and one in the opening couple of minutes of the second half. Yes, I mean, um, when you come out in the second half, obviously you want to score first because that's mentally that's um, the thing that the forwards, you know, forwards on both sides would want so, um, so they can relax a bit in that respect. So, um, you know, we did that and, um, you know, we're just happy with the win. Um, Bradford put up a good fight, um, and, but we come out winners, it's the main thing. I think the particular pleasing was the second half performance because up until the last couple of minutes where Paul Medley got that try, you never looked if you were going to concede points and you always looked dangerous on the attack. Yes, I mean, um, Carl Fairbanks a great player and he slipped the ball and Paul Medley happened to run onto it. Um, obviously, um, we were probably getting a bit tired because those Bradford forward, forwards are quite big and um, they played well the last 20 and, and they, they stayed in the game and I'll give them credit, give them credit in that respect. They stayed in the game but um, obviously I think we had the pace out wide and, and um, we had the luck of the, you know, the bounce today and we won the game. It was always going to be maybe a, a ding-dong battle. All the people thought it was going to be a, quite a close encounter. But in the end, you won it quite convincingly, didn't you? I mean, it was a, a big scoreline. I think when you look at the scoreline, it doesn't reflect on the game. I mean, you know, obviously we dropped a lot of balls. Um, Bradford capitalised on that. Um, obviously, um, we just ran away, I think, the last 20 minutes. Um, in the end, um, we just sort of... Um, we're still throwing bad balls. I mean, we're, we're in possession. First tackle, we're dropping balls. And, um, you know, in that respect, we, you know, we threw a lot of ball away, but we won the match. So when you look at it like that, I mean, you know... We're pretty, pretty happy with the way we've gone, even though we dropped a lot of ball. And two tries for Gary Mercer? Yeah, well, I mean, that's part of the game. I mean, I, you know, you get satisfaction either setting tries up or else I'm scoring them, and today I scored two, and I'm happy with that. Leeds have now got the sniff of Wembley after last year, and it would be great if you could make a repeat trip down to the Twin Towers, Gary. Oh, yes, I mean, that's in our back of our minds. Um, we've got this um, um, thing in the back of our minds. We're unbeatable now, and um, I don't think any side will beat us here this year, and even away. And um, with, with that mental attitude we've got, I think we're going to go a long way, and hopefully we can go to the t Twin Towers this year and win. We can probably the team to beat once more then. Whatever, either a semi-final or the next round, it doesn't bother us, we'll beat them here anyway. Thanks very much, Gary. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thanks, it's a good mate. performance again by Leeds at Headingley. You've come in a bit invincible here now. Yeah, I mean, they come out as early doors and, they, you know, we never helped ball, so we're really making hard work for ourselves, in a, in a sense. Um, but we, we stuck to his, to his guns, um, settled down in the second half a little bit, and started to just play, you know, and we're playing well at the moment at home, yeah. Well, they did at half-time, because for the majority of the first half, you were just narrowly behind, but you got that try on the stroke of half-time. Yeah, but that was down to his own, his own mistakes. We were dropping ball on first and second tackles, and we were just, we were just basically tackling all the way down here in 22. Um, we scored on half time. Uh, Dougie just said to us, you know, just get back to the game plan basically, control the ball and you'll, you'll win the ball game, and, which we did a little bit better in the second half. You couldn't have started the second half much better, you got to try in the opening couple of minutes and then Bradford Northern were always uh, up against it I think. That's right, yeah, I mean we come out, we know what we had to do in the second half, like I say. Um, we got a lucky break and scored early, I think it was only two minutes in the game. <coughs> and uh, from then on they were always chasing and, and we had them from then sort of thing. It was always going to be a, a nail-biting game, but it was quite physical as well out there, wasn't it? We wanted two old scores maybe to settle. Yeah, but you expect games like that with cup games, you know what I mean? I think they were getting a bit mad with the, when going out of cup and that, and uh, things were getting, got a bit heated, but you expect that with local derbies like, but, you know, we, we stuck to his task and we got the points and uh, we won the ball game. The only disappointing fact was maybe that you didn't keep Bradford Northern pointless at the end in that second half. Yeah, but uh, like I say, it's a cup game. Uh, and scores didn't really matter as long as you're one point ahead of them at the final outer, which we were. Uh, obviously, we were a bit tired towards the end, um, missing Allen a little bit of the back when he went off. But uh, for the majority of the second half, we, we uh, did the business. I think if any try clinched it, it was that individual effort by Graham Holroyd, that chip over and follow through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
you can't, you can't control Ollie. Like he does what he does what he wants really, and uh, he's always gonna, a talent like that's always going to score. I'll pull some out of bag in a big game, and uh, like I say, he broke through, did the chip and scored, and uh, it, from then on it was really our game. Challenge Cup is obviously the big cup competition of them all. You got to Wembley last year when the support's behind you once more. Can Leeds do it again? That's right, you know, we got there last year, we know what it's all about and uh, I think that's a big incentive for us because we want to go back there and, and you know, and hopefully win. Um, we'll go see who we draw in cup like, it's always, you know, a bit of luck, a bit of luck in cup draws but uh, we're going to be battling hard to go there again without a shadow of a doubt, yeah? James, thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks for joining